let me introduce you to our team, Team Neons, and our, our pendant product is called Cola. Cola as in like hugging you uh, on your neck. <coughs> <laughs> so we, there's a unmet need out there right now. So basically people who have suffered um, anxiety and got into exacerbations, then it's a terrible symptoms. You feel helplessness, you don't know what to do, and you don't really want to have a next episode of exacerbations. So, there's one good news. We, there's a, in 2011, there's one research um, supporting that that's a pattern when people are going to exhibit exacerbations. So what we can do from here? So we're using the similar ideas. So we designed a collar pendant. So it's not contact to you, so you, you won't feel irritated. And so what it does is you wear it every day, and it, <coughs> it allows the data automatically to the cloud. And then it also gives you a monthly summaries and telling you how good you are, what have you been progressing it. And when you go to see your carer, for example, it can give you a really good diagnosed condition so they can tell what you've been doing wrong, what you haven't been doing wrong. Because we know for one thing, the patients doesn't really know whether they are living a really good health style or not. And there's nobody to tell them you're doing good every single day. So let's go deeper into cola. So a smiley cola for these years, it's still a work in progress. So we have been moving on from that thing into here, a uh, nicer looking ones. And what it does is actually here is a um, nine degree of freedom sensors. So it track on your breathing symptoms. It's, um, it's different from the wearable device on the watch, for example, where it only track your oxy oxygen and also your pulse. Here it's actually track your breathing. So specifically target for briefings. And also here you have a galvanic skin response sensor. So what it does is we want to track the emotions and the stress level of the patients. Because when you get stressed, you change your skin conductance. So by correlating that to your breathing property, you can actually tell whether they are undergoing a due stress or external effects and help them to progress their lifestyle better. <clears throat> so we why we want to design a necklace? Well, we have gone through a lot of ideas for wearable shirts for something like this, looking at the capacitance. We, we also we want to... But it doesn't really work because we talked to some patients. So one well, of the guy, Ian, says like he's been ha having steroids for too long. When he do a DIY, he needs to wear the glove. So a wearable device that in contact away in the body is not great for them because it causes the skin to peeling off. So we want them to feel not ashamed of they having COPD. We want to build a community. So we want to make this a better looking designer piece necklace that they can do. So how it works, it actually tracks all your motion sensors, so it can tell actually you have a cough, breathing, walking, we actually get this data actually from our necklace. And we want to do three main important things, give a live feedback, if something goes wrong, we tell them stop doing it, give a weekly summary to help them to progressively put a better lifestyle, and the long-term monitoring where they can bring the report to their doctors and the caregiving to tell them, help them to monitor their lifestyles. So there's an app for a pa uh, patient, for example, telling you like, here where you probably don't want to go the red button where you induce more coughing. It gives you analyze the data properly. And we do a competitive analysis, but none really, so there's a lot of similar field, but none really doing on the briefing practice. So we did some um, together with the Cambridge consultant, we're trying to estimate is it really a good profitable and help uh, sustainable business. So estimate bill material is about $14 and the retail price about $19. But we know COPD are usually suffering for patients who are really poor. So we give them a subscription plan. They pay very lowly and then they don't need to, um, they don't need to um, pay too much. So the route to market is targeting stage two, which is 36% of COPD patients. Stage three, 34% of the COPD patients. And then this is our team, amazingly. Um, they're very good funds. It's very nice to work with them. And um, thank you very much. <laughs>